In a world where mental health challenges are widespread, regular physical activity stands out as a simple yet effective solution. Hello, my name is Naveen Salt and I'm discussing the effects of physical activity and how it correlates with mental health. The College Board Stimulus through the tunnel, a kid named Jerry is forced to swim through an underwater tunnel after seeing the older boys do so. Jerry faces many emotional, physical, and mental difficulties. However, he faces the task of swimming through the tunnel and overcomes it with determination. This can show that people can overcome things like depression and anxiety and poor mental health. This leads me to my research question. In what ways, in what ways does regular participation in physical activity contribute to improved mental health outcomes? My argument is that physical activity is one of the best ways to deal with mental health and, and it helps prevent them. Some benefits of physical activity can include decreasing stress while increasing mental resilience, improved emotional well-being, and cognitive benefits. Incorporating regular physical activity becomes an important approach in decreasing stress while increasing mental resilience. And in the area of emotional well-being, participating in regular physical activity can have a major effect on people's mood regulation, emotional resilience, and general mental health in addition to relieving stress. And and when exploring the, the cognitive benefits, research finds that, pe that people who engage in regular physical activity not only maintain better physical health, but, but also experience significant improvements in their cognitive abilities, including increased mental acuity, better memory, and sharper concentration. Adults participating in regular physical activity see a 20 to 30% reduction in risk of depression, and increased exercise has also been shown to reduce stress and anxiety. That's, that's because physical activity releases serotonin and endorphins, which are chemicals that interact with your brain receptors and improve your mood. As portrayed in this chart here, it shows that people that are physically active for three plus hours weekly have much better stress balances in their life. And there's a significant difference in, in the stress balances between the people who participate in less than 30 minutes of physical activity during the week. In this chart, it illustrates the correlation between regular exercise and the enhancement of endorphin levels, leading to a reduction in both anxiety and depressive symptoms. The endorphin hypothesis is a theory that, that explains how engaging in physical activity triggers the brain to release elevated levels of endogenous opioid peptides. Th these natural chemicals not only, not only ease physical discomfort, but also serve as strong mood enhancers effectively reducing feelings of worry and hopelessness and overall psych psychological distress. On the left, this image illustrates the noticeable contrast in the brain in the brain activity after just 20 minutes of exercise compared to none. Notice how the brain on the right is lit up with activity and the brain on the left is a lot quieter. This contrast can show the impact of exercise on, co on cognitive function when we engage in physical activity our bodies respond by increasing blood flow, to the, blood flow to the brain, which delivers oxygen and nutrients. Not, this not only energizes the brain, but also enhances its cognitive capabilities. Shifting over to the chart on the right, you can see the connection between physical activity and academic performance. Research has consistently shown that regular exercise can have significant benefits in academic outcomes. And by enhancing concentration, improved focus, and better memory, physical activity gives, gives people the cognitive tools for academic success. So as we have seen, as we have seen, phys physical activity offers men many positive impacts, and by having regular, regular exercise in our lives, our well-being can be improved. We can have lower symptoms of depression and anxiety and you can boost academic and cognitive abilities. Thank you, do you have any questions? Yeah, now you're on camera, that's all. Okay, first question. Um, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used and how do you know they were? So my sources were pretty reliable because I got most of them from EBSCO and most of them were peer reviewed academic sources and I've checked the um, author's backgrounds. Okay, and 
Um, what advice would you have for people that want to look into this relationship between mental health and exercise in the future? Some advice that I'd give to, uh, to people who would want to do this in the future is to get more perspective on on specific physical activity like like cardio or weight training and how those have a role, play a role to um, physical, I mean, mental health.